Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Hub and Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so grateful. And for those who have not yet, please, let's consider subscribing. Click on this notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video, comment down there, Tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be so grateful. Uh, today, I want us to discuss something which is very important and that is how you can construct a simple and a proper laying boxes. Laying boxes is one important thing that you need when you're doing this project, especially when you're doing the layers. For those who are doing broilers, you do not need laying boxes because they do not lay eggs. But for those who are planning to start up layers, you need these laying boxes. And these laying boxes, you should put them from week 14, week 16 to week 16. By the time it is reaching week 17 and 18, when they are starting to lay eggs, at least you should find when you have already put the laying boxes inside the, the farm. And these laying boxes should be made in a way that you should not be having losses. Because it is through these laying boxes that we are able to know whether this layer bud will bring us income, we will recover our capital, or it will bring us even profits. And so if they are not well made, there's a way it will bring us into losses that we never expected. So today, please stay tuned, watch till the end, let's share and discuss how we can do about it. Thank you. As I had told you earlier on, uh, today I want us to see how we can construct a simple and a proper laying boxes. Uh, there are different types of laying boxes uh, that I'm sure most of you might have seen this. But for us here, we have this type whereby the bird lay eggs and you just go and pick the eggs when the birds are there. But there are also others whereby the birds lay from here and the eggs roll somewhere and the bird eggs are picked from there. But for us here, we have the, this other local type whereby the birds lay the egg, the egg remains there, you pick it from there. And actually, I want to let you know that this one is also really very risky. Why? Because if you see these birds, they are already debicked. Like for me at the farm, the bats are already debicked. But you find that, honestly, every day I'm losing over 10 eggs because these birds now, when they see the egg like this, an egg, they peck it a lot and you find by the, by the time you realize it, it has already made, it has already got a crack. And when it has a crack, there's a way they sense it very fast and you find that they have already eaten up the eggs. So that's why these laying boxes should, there are some qualities that you must consider when you're going to make up these laying boxes number one this laying boxes should be in a way that inside is dark and when the bird enter there enters only to lay because also these birds they love to lay their eggs where it is dark and that is why when you put up these laying boxes they are not told that it is laying you know they don't talk or they don't listen but they just know automatically this is where we are supposed to lay from so when a bird starts laying you find that it is an automatic thing that they will enter inside there to lay so inside should be made in a way that it is dark and they just go there to lay eggs and they come out if you make it in a way that inside has some light there's a way they will lay the egg they'll start pecking it immediately and before you realize they've already eaten up the eggs so inside should be really dark that the birds do not even get the appetite of remaining inside there. They just lay the eggs and they come out. And then another thing, when you're making the boxes, make sure at the entrance of the box, it has something that can safeguard the, the wood shavings or the coffee ask from coming outside. Because I have had incidents where mine, if you see it really, you find at the entrance of the laying box, it doesn't have that provision where there's something that can prevent these beddings from getting out. Because inside the laying box, if it doesn't have enough beddings, they say well, the, the birds will throw their eggs, they will lay the eggs there, and it, will, it, 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 it can just have a crack just automatically. And these birds, they sense these cracks very, very fast, even more than you, the farmer. You find that 
all the time you're getting losses and you, when you get there to pick the eggs you find the eggs are really dirty uh, you just know that they have eaten up the eggs and then another thing make sure the beddings are really enough inside where the birds lay their eggs so that the, the, the egg will fall in a soft in a soft it will land in a soft place and you just go and get the eggs peacefully and also another thing why you need enough beddings there if there are no enough beddings you find all the time th there are cracks in the eggs the birds are eating their eggs and the eggs are really very dirty so that is why you need enough bedding inside and then when you're making these laying boxes make it in a way that it is easy for you the farmer also to pick the eggs because i have had incidents where i go for picking up the eggs and you find it is really hard for me or oh, there's something pressing me at the end you find you just you've just made you've just made a crack just out of the blue and before you realize the birds have just come and eaten up the the eggs from your hands before you realize it and so that is why it is really important to to make sure you've made a very proper link in fact laying boxes is one of the things that a farmer must spend money on because this is where our revenue come from another thing that you must consider when making these laying boxes is that it should be strong enough uh, that uh, it doesn't get damaged like if you see in my farm you find that my laying boxes have so many holes has so many damages and at the end even when you put the wood chips or the coffee ask they escape from the other side or even other parts are broken this is really not right because you find that if they are broken like this sometimes they will, the birds will go in a very in a very uh, a very a very hidden corner to lay their eggs and sometimes you may end up not picking those eggs or even the rats will end up eating those eggs the eggs may end up getting spoiled there or even if they are not well made and they are not strong time in time out you have to be doing re redoing others remaking others these are all what these are all losses to the farm so please when you're making these laying boxes make them in a way that it is strong enough and placed well and durable and that will finish even that, those buds that laying period so please let's make sure we consider that another thing that you must consider when you're making these laying boxes when now you finish making the laying boxes and you've, you're taking them inside the farm put them in a way that they are they are, they are firm because i have had incident where the laying boxes the laying boxes was put in a way that it was was staggering so one day i just entered the farm i found that the laying boxes had fallen down and i i lost over 10 birds because it just came this other side instead of again going back it just came forward and the thing fell down all the eggs were all damaged the birds died and it was really a big loss to the farm so please these laying boxes are really important in this project another thing that you should know is that uh, when making these laying boxes please uh, make sure that you make enough that can accommodate enough boxes that can accommodate all your birds in the farm because i've had incident where the laying boxes were made but it was not enough for all the birds that i had so you find that if it's not enough birds tend to come because most of these birds lay in the morning hours and there's no way you can control that or stop that. So if the laying boxes are not enough that can accommodate all of them, you find the birds will be so crowded inside the, the, the boxes and even th that will bring about so many, so many cracks and damages. And that is also one way that makes them get used to eating their eggs because once they see a, a crack or any damage, you find that they get used to eating it like that and that is not good good for the project so make sure always when you're making the laying boxes please take your time uh get enough money for these boxes and make boxes which are enough for all the birds in the farm that can accommodate all your birds in the farm so that when they're laying at least they lay comfortably and you never get a lot of losses or you never get any losses at all and then another thing is um uh, for those who really have uh, that enough money you can also construct the other type whereby the birds lay here and the eggs roll and you pick from the other side because that one is again more safer compared to this other ordinary one that, like the one we have at the farm because that is more safe and that uh, you do not get so many losses 
But these other ones whereby the, you pick the eggs from the same place where the birds have laid from, it is really so risky and dangerous. But however, if you also want to construct this other type or if you want to make this other type that I have, please, then let's follow these guidelines and that will it will be good to go for all of us so please uh, i'm so grateful that you've been following me uh, for those who are still new please consider subscribing click on that notification bell so that you never miss out any upload give me your comments th down there you can give me also your ideas because this is a platform where we are we are free to share ideas please ask me questions Tell me where you're watching me from, and I'll be so grateful. Thank you for watching. Please see you next time. Bye-bye.